Good morning. We're back for our next departmental budget discussion. I'm joined this morning by Emily Passini, the chief of staff here in the mayor's office, and by Talia Lomax O'Neill, the city's finance director. Before we jump into next year's budget, just a little bit of focus on last year where we had an unprecedented budget in a couple of respects and we're required to tighten our belt and live within our means in the last budget cycle. We did that, I think, successfully as a government, and we've had some revenue growth this year, which will allow us to do a cost of living adjustment and step increases in open range for all our employees this year. So it's a, a better year this year than it was last year, that's for sure. Our next budget discussion this morning is with the Metro Planning uh, Department and Commission. I'm thinking both, perhaps. Lucy Kemp, the Planning Director, is here. If she would introduce herself, and uh, her colleagues who are with her. And then we'll, um, if you'll leave a couple of minutes at the end, I'm sure we'll have a, uh, some questions for you. Sure. Well, okay. thank you so much for having us here today. It's an honor to be with you to talk about planning in Nashville. I'm joined by uh, George Brooker, Bob Lehman, and then uh, Chairman Greg Adkins, who uh, chairs the commission. Um, and I wanted to um, ask him to uh, give a couple of uh, introductory remarks um, from the Commission's perspective. Well, thank you, Lucy. Hey, I want to say thank you, uh, Mayor. It's really an honor and privilege to be the Chair of the Planning Commission. Um, obviously, the city is growing rapidly. Um, I feel like we have done a lot of work over the last several years. Um, I'm extremely proud that uh, Lucy agreed to take on the Executive Director role. I think that she's done an awesome job with her team at the department. Um, and so I'm very, very proud of that. That's probably my highlight of being chairman um, is, is moving the department in, in the right way. I think it's an um, extremely high level department. Um, most people don't know that most of the employees there are professionals um, within um, their profession. Um, there are complex issues daily, um, and generally there is not um, agreement on most issues that we, we see in the city, but we try to reach a place where everyone, uh, where it can be a win-win situation. Um, as you know, big picture, we passed the general plan um, known as Nashville Next in 2015. Um, historically, we had over 18,000 participants, included about 400 meetings. <laughs> Um, and so a lot of folks say, well, you know, what are you doing after that? Well, um, that plan is really a living document um, for us as our policy. And so um, since then, last year alone, we've done several um, uh, community meetings, about 215 of those um, community meetings. We also, last year, several key examples of major plan updates that included Haynes Trinity, uh, the Highland Heights area and, and Charlotte Pike in West Nashville. The one thing that um, we've watched over the years is we've had some turnover in the department and I think that um, uh, Lucy and the team has addressed, the management team has addressed that um, and I feel like we're in a really great place um, and we look for ways to improve the department and we really appreciate and I think that workload still remains very um, active um, and so it's an honor to be here and uh, we look forward to working with you. Lucy. Thank you. Um, well thank you again for having us here today and I wanted to acknowledge the cost of living um, adjustment. We really appreciate it. It means a lot to the staff and thank you Director Lomax, Emily and of course to you the mayor and you know as a new department head it's just a, a privilege to serve the residents of Davidson County and Nashville in this role and I appreciate your support mayor in, in doing that and also a privilege to, to lead the planning staff who are so passionate and committed and care um, about this city. Um, you know I'm passionate about Nashville but I would be the first to acknowledge that the word planner is sort of a weird I mean, what do we plan that doesn't really describe what we do? And so lest any of your uh, viewing audience uh, thinks that we're planning events or parties, which I've been asked before, is that what we do? I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of our core responsibilities for their benefit. All of these are things that you know. We prepare a general plan that guides growth and areas for protection in Nashville. We give recommendations to Metro Council on rezoning requests. We do urban design overlays, urban design plans, policy plans for neighborhoods, corridors, we try to identify strategic opportunities to move the ball forward in this city. Um, 
We draft detailed design plans. We maintain the official property maps online. So many, you may not know that. And we also maintain a lot of data online that improves our decision making from a policy making perspective. We coordinate transportation and mobility efforts through the department and we work closely with WeGo and Public Works, for example, to accomplish those goals. Um, and we provide policy guidance on a range of topics. That may be something that folks aren't aware of, but we draft text amendments, coordinate um, comments about core planning issues. and. Through that, I would say we are also working on the CIB, for example, where we provide policy recommendations to you. Um, and I think it's important for the planning department to be firing on all engines, so to speak, in those areas because we really are in a vitally important moment in our city life. We're seeing so much investment in our workforce, our economy, and in our built environment. And of course, with all of that, brings great opportunity for our city, but also important responsibilities for those of us in public life and public service to guide that development in a way um, that is responsible. And so it is essential for the planning department to lead and help ensure that we're growing in a way that sustains our people, our economy, our health, and ultimately our quality of life, which is, I think, what, what this is all about. That's what brings um, the planning department um, to work every morning. Um, during my first months in office, I intentionally, with the strong encouragement of the chairman, met with a lot of folks, both within the department, everyone within the department, but a lot of folks outside of the department, to talk about our priorities and what we need to accomplish as a city, and to give some candid feedback about what we're doing well and not. Um, and there's a ton of feedback there that I could go through that I think could give us a work program for 10 years, but there are two concepts that I sort of focused on quickly. The first was the importance of having an interdisciplinary approach to solving complex policy and planning issues. And really the department is unique, I think, across Metro in dedicating resources who have policy, design, mobility, and general planning ex expertise bringing them together to address issues. The second comment that I received was um, that we really need to develop a robust public engagement strategy. I think the planning department does an outstanding job with community engagement. We're out in the community quite a bit, as the, as the chairman noted. But I think given where we are as a city, given technology in 2019, there are some aspects of our work that require sort of a more thoughtful and strategic uh, approach. How do we address diversity and inclusion in our community? How do we think about that? Um, how do we work in neighborhoods that are experiencing rapid change more so than, than some others? I know everyone feels the demands of change, but there are a few neighborhoods that are really experiencing a lot. And so um, um, that's something that we're focused on, and I expect to report out on that next year. I want to highlight a couple of accomplishments. The chairman has mentioned our work on Dickerson and 21st. I would only add those were just two of many uh, projects that we did. These are holistic planning approaches that address urban design quality, mobility solutions. They include extensive data analysis and research about the neighborhoods so we can understand what's going on in those communities before we go there, and they include a lot of public engagement. They're place-based solutions, and that's really important in a county that is as diverse in terms of its environmental features and planning features as ours is. So a lot of planning shops serve, you know, smaller land areas that have sort of consistent types of features going on. That one of the benefits of, of planning in Nashville is you've got the rural areas of White's Creek and the urban areas of you know, midtown and you figure out how to do it all. Um, a second area of focus uh, for us is the design and function of the public realm. A lot of people talk about building design, but really I think what makes a, a great city is public spaces, and there's a lot of ways we, we engage in that space. Um, one is we're updating uh, the standards for the sidewalk ordinance. Um, we work in mobilities, bikeways, pedestrian ways. Uh, we've prepared a um, corridor design overlay to improve the appearance of some of our corridors. Last but not least, um, in his remarks, the chairman mentioned our development review process. It's still robust. We have a lot of work in land development. We're reviewing a lot of applications, rezoning up to council as well as, as development plans. Um, 
looking into 2019, we uh, would like to extend our work to Wedgwood, Houston, uh, Madison, neighborhoods along the river, and throughout the neighborhood and county. So our goal is to slowly build capacity to better extend our resources throughout the, the county. Um, I want to take a moment to talk about our blue ribbon suggestions. Um, our approach to these was more um, in operational efficiencies, I would say, as well as fiscal. We're a smaller department, so I think we've got to think in both of those terms. Um, one is to automate processes. That doesn't sound very exciting, but you might be surprised to know that um, each submittal date we get very large maps um, and in paper copies, and it's not very efficient. Um, so we'd like to migrate to an electronic footprint. Um, we are working right now with, G with ITS to um, explore efficiencies in our geographic information systems and how we uh, do those licensing. Um, and so we hope to accomplish some efficiencies there. We are interested in a study um, of our fee structure. I think that's just something you've got to sort of keep your eye on. You can't just do it once and then move on. It's, we've just got to make sure that the work output matches the fees that we're asking for. Um, we have enjoyed a close working relationship with Director um, Lomax uh, to talk about um, sort of public property and we're mm -hmm. happy to continue that work with you and if you know there might be an opportunity for the planning staff to do a little more of a sort of a formal study of some of our, our properties and see if we're using them efficiently um, which is a different question than do you surplus mm -hmm. or not that's a different that's <clears throat> a different thing um, and then of course we're always looking for efficiencies in our urban design overlays um, finally I'd like to close on a bit of housekeeping you asked us to address our financial outlook we will meet the requested uh, tar target savings and I fail to acknowledge Mr. Jeffrey Leach. Where are you, Jeffrey? In the back. I apologize, Jeffrey. We, Jeffrey keeps us out of the red for your purposes, and so um, forgive me, and I appreciate you for all of your work, and we're not requesting any improvements at this time. So thank you for having us here. Any questions? Mm -hmm. I think you've addressed everything that I might um, want to ask, but I just want to say uh, it's been a privilege to work with you because you you have um, approached the finance department in a very collaborative way mm -hmm. and um, you and as well as your team and I just um, I welcome that sincerely you guys did good so a couple of things uh, one is the, the, the Blue Ribbon Commission recommendation that you made about, I guess, a more coordinated, mm -hmm. objective way to assess <coughs> public property and its utilization and such. And, and uh, I, I think you've been talking to finance and general services about some sort of plan moving forward to address that. And so I'm strongly supportive of, of doing that in, in the future. And, uh, where it would ultimately be deposited, which department I, I think is to be determined, but I mm -hmm. think planning would ultimately have to play a key role in making it work. Mm -hmm. uh, the second thing is, uh, so I, I, you sort of hit on this, the, so I just finished 30-something neighborhood association meetings. Wow. And uh, in like six weeks. And uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, seriously. And, uh, and so one of that's, the... That's huge. Yeah, there. One of the sense is that I left with, beyond the public safety and public ed, and is a, a sense out there that the pace of growth is pretty quick, mm -hmm. and folks want us to balance growth with neighborhood quality of life. And so, as, as over the next year, as you look at the resources you have and what you need to be more forward leaning and more aggressive in terms of public communication and outreach and thinking about diversity I, I just encourage you to 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 you know look for the best practices across the country in terms of what we can do to to, to accomplish uh, the needs of the community in, in, in addressing that that real concern 
and because we're going to continue to grow. I think there's really little question about that. The question is how are we going to balance that growth with maintaining the quality of life we have here and, and pl planning as much as any department is going to be on the front line on that. Sure. Thank so, you. So just think about that in the next year. And um, and then the, I guess the last question, what, what do you mean by um, streamlining the requirements for urban de design overlays? I mean, what does that specifically mean? So um, planners tend to be pretty detailed in our thinking, mm -hmm. and sometimes that results in fairly complex, um, complex requirements. And I think that they come from a good place. I think that they accomplish what we want to accomplish, but a question I would have is, is there a way to simplify um, how we meet those goals and um, simplify the reviews. We don't have the staff to do the detailed level of review mm -hmm. that we're requiring in some of these overlays. And so figuring out how to do that, I think, is important. Um, we may need to turn to the private sector to begin to stamping and to stamp and certify that their plans actually meet the standards as well, as opposed to solely relying on the public sector to review each and every requirement. And that's something that the private sector does pretty well so those are some things we would look at and we created the urban design overlays before we had the um, specific plan tool mm. Bob, um, I might. as That's a city right. okay right. mm -hmm. and so I, I think that we have maybe that's why it required so much specificity when we started with the UDOs I think we're always trying to look for new tools. Like Lucy mentioned, we, we created a new overlay that's working its way through the <coughs> Metro Council right now, the, the corridor design overlay, which was also meant to help streamline. So when we do a UDO, it, it, there's a lot of man hours that go to go out to communities and meet with the, each specific community and, and then tailor a UDO to that specific corridor. And what we were hearing from many council members were that they wanted the same types of design controls and so that's another way that we streamline that process is to use a corridor design overlay instead of a urban design overlay where they can sort of just take that off the shelf instead of having us spend hundreds of hours going out to look at a, a corridor and do a, a unique urban design overlay yeah. and is uh, Bob is this I think I signed uh, uh, an anniversary award for you. Is this, I want to say it was 20 years, but yeah, that can't be true. It's 20. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. So, so um, just uh, thank you for your service to the city. I, I, 20 seemed impossible, but. <laughs> I still look the same. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Me too, right? Yeah. That's right. So, um, so congratulations thank on you. your service. You're an important part of the team, and we certainly appreciate your your hard work so and Lucy this is your first year so congratulations on making it through without any hiccups <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah yeah thank you very much thank you